What is going on YouTube? My name is Keg, and welcome back to some more Clash Royale. Now, I know I haven't done a little bit of Clash Royale in a little while. Uh, I did get asked by one of my viewers uh, if I could upload a couple of other videos, and whilst I haven't been recording religiously in this game, I have certainly been playing quite a lot. So what I thought I'd do is I'd upload a few replays that I've gotten here. Uh, I usually try and replay, oh sorry, I usually try and record my games as I'm playing them. Uh, yeah, for future events like this, when I can actually show them. So, we have just done our clan chess, and I absolutely love playing clan battles. I don't know about you guys, but when that clan chess is up where you got to do the clan battles, man, it is so good doing tool class. So, we're going to pretty much, you know, we're already 50 seconds into this game, so I'll pretty much stop, uh, stop talking too much about other things and start talking about the game. So, I'm here with Combat Runner. He's quite a good player. Uh... Sort of, we work really well together. It's it's kind of strange. So I'm running a fairly, I'm running a, a bit of an unorthodox deck where I've got Hog Rider is my my main guy to do damage, but then I've also got the poison, the rocket. Uh, you definitely need spells if you're going to run these um, these clan battles. You you have to have spells. Also, you have to have a fairly strong defense. Maybe you're like an Inferno Tower or something like that, because. Um, uh, as you can see here, the opponents are going to play the Elite Barbarians, and we really kind of don't have anything on that right-hand side. Also, um, Royal Giants. Royal Giants are a big one that you see quite a lot in these battles. So you do need a reasonably good defensive card. You you have to have spells. You have to have spells, no doubt. So I'm running a bit of a deck where I can do a bit of AoE. The Rocker can get me heaps of good value. The Poison can get me heaps of good value. And I support other decks. If someone else is running a Graveyard, the Poison's great support. Um, if my enemies are running... If my opponents are running um, three musketeers or something like that, the rocket is such good value. So Combat Runner is going to play his rocket here. It's going to miss that first barbarian just there. Not a huge deal because I did put the poison down. So our opponents saw that rocket and they're like, "Sweet, we're going to throw down three musketeers here, all in the one lane." And they don't realize that I have a rocket. So my rocket goes down, hits three musketeers, and hits the uh, hit the barbs there and knock their log off. So that was massive value there. And that's pretty much where we're going to turn this game around. Yes, that right hand tower is already down quite a lot. But that was just a killing blow right there. So, uh, Ice Golem's been key in defending this as well, as has Combat Runner Zap to defend the Goblin Barrels. And the opponents here really have not been able to get anything going for them. A Bowler and Corum, they really haven't been able to get anything going. So, I'm going to play the Electro Wizard here. It'll easily defend uh, against that Balloon there. And pretty much now they know, uh, I think they give a good game somewhere here. They know. Yeah, they were struggling pretty much the whole time. They really haven't had that much damage done in our towers at all. I'll play a poison there at the end as well just to slow things down. Uh, and that poison was getting tons of value as well as Combat Runners um, as his cyclone there. So, pretty good game. Um, I'll try and comment a little bit more about the game on this next one because I think we jumped straight into another one here. Uh, there's a good sign on my deck. You can see what it is. I've kind of just changed a couple of things around. Um... Yeah, and the the old um, executioner, great card for these for these clan battles. Uh, as is the poison, such good card. So, I really for the clan battles, I really don't recommend running three musketeers. They're just too easily countered by so many different things. There's combat runner's deck as well. He's running a great deck that'll complement mine. So we're up against Amiga uh, and Dark Gohan sixty. I think that's meant to be a six. Yes, it is sixty uh, from Rashet Wrestler. Uh, you'll often see me here. Uh, check what cards Combat Runner has in his hand and also check how much elixir he's got. So he, um, we overlapped just a little bit there. So we got double defenses with the Tombstone and the Cannon. Doesn't work out too well. That left hand side's getting smashed a bit, but thankfully I've got my minions down, which I help out quite a lot. And that execution is doing a heap of damage. I try and get the Ice Golem down here in front of the minions and I don't think it does. Oh. Oh, it does actually. Wow. So the minions go after the bowler. That's really good. The poison should be able to get quite a lot of damage here. Really, really good value out of that poison. It goes for the wizard and the bowler and does some damage to the baby dragon and hits the tower. So there we go. I check what, uh, check how much elixir Comet Runner's got. Check what cards he's got in his hands. And I'm also trying to indicate to him now what I'm planning, what I'm thinking. I've got the hog rider. I'm looking on his, I'm looking for him to put down a card to support me. That rocket's gonna miss, I think. That, I think that was way too slow. Yeah, that rocket was way too slow. Way, way too slow. So he gives the oops, that was definitely an oops. Not sure about this tornado. I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to pull it in closer to the king tower to activate it, but definitely not good there. That tornado was not a good one. So we're on the back foot already. They got the tower down there, uh, and we need to sort of settle in here and try and 
calm down a bit and then start some pushes together where we're working together. So as I say that, I'm just going to throw down a Hog Rider all on its own. Try and run him in there, get a little bit of damage. Thankfully, he's actually going to get to the tower. That's Yeah, okay, and there's the Whirlwind to pull him in closer to the King Tower. So the King Towers get activated there, which is really, really annoying. Really annoying for us. Uh, I'll draw this Valkyr across. Unfortunately, he does play the Ice Wizard there, which means that the uh, Valkyr is going to turn towards... The Ice Wizard, there go the Skeletons to help defend against that Wizard as well. And the Miner is actually going to do quite a lot of reasonable damage. Uh, the Miner is actually not a bad card in this. So I throw down the Echolo Wizard on the left-hand side, trying to get some sort of push going on that left-hand side, although we just struggle so much with defending the right. There goes a Whirlwind and a Rocket, but again, the Rocket's missing is what's killing us. The Rocket's missing is so bad. I throw down a Poison there defensively just because I know I have to. Uh, Combat Runner throws down the Skeletons there. Not the best place for him, but I know he's getting a little bit desperate. Another bowler right there in the middle. That's a pretty good Inferno Dragon. Unfortunately, the Ice Wizard is going to slow him down a little bit. Here comes a Miner as well to keep chipping away at that tower. It's going to do quite a lot. There goes the Whirlwind preemptively. He really didn't need to play that because uh, there was never any chance that there was, there was going to be anything else played there. So I'm going to play my Rocket here just so we can get a uh, just so we can get a tower towards our our chess uh, but unfortunately we do lose that one you can see how you just gotta work well together we didn't work well at all together that that game you could see that uh, our troops weren't working well together our spells certainly weren't working well together it was just one of those games where you just have a dodgy hand right from the get-go you make one or two little tiny mistakes and it kind of snowballs so you got in that case you gotta take a step back have a bit of a big breath uh, and just calm down a bit so you can see I'm checking out his hand. Uh, he throws down an Ice Wizard straight away. I throw down the uh, Hog Rider behind. It looks like there's a Rocket going as well. He's going to play a Rocket this time. Much, much better Rocket. Should be able to hit that Wizard and the Minions. It does. So good value out of that Rocket. We took that tower down all the way to 15-13 on the first push. That is awesome. So I'm going to play the Ice Golem here. Thankfully, I have the Minions as well. He's going to Fireball towards that Executioner, which was wrong. Uh, Senor and Senor... Is that meant to be Senorita or Senora? I don't know. Either way... Uh, from Force Pecker, that fireball was really bad. They needed to play that fireball way over towards and predict that there was going to be minions or skeleton army or something like that uh, over in that corner and play the fireball towards them. I'm actually going to play my Electro Wizard here um, to stop that bomber just because I don't want him to take out that uh, tombstone. I like it that the tombstone is just trickling away towards his tower and slowing up his troops a little bit. Uh, this Electro Wizard, I really don't have too much to it. I'm hoping that he does, and he does. He plays down uh, the Ice Wizard. Here comes actually a Balloon. Very, very strange. So I really don't have anything to help out. The, the uh, Executioner will do a bit. So instead, I'm just going to go to the Hog Rider and try and get some damage in there. Uh, I'm going to play the Rocket here against this Alexa Collector. I don't want it just to get free, free damage here. So I'll play the Ice Golem. The Ice Golem played correctly in that position there is so good. So good. So this should be a fireball coming in now on this graveyard. Oh, he's got arrows. That's that's just as good. But he did him a bit too late. And he activates the King Tower. Huge mistake there. Big, big mistake. So it was a bit of a panic arrows, those ones. Uh, and they activated the King Tower, which was going to help out immensely now against the graveyard. So I can see the combat runner's got six elixir. About the same as me. He's going to play his rocket there, which is great. Do some tower damage. Take out... Oh, wow, that missed the tower. Did that miss the tower? Oh man, I might have to go what, watch back and watch that. Yeah, that missed the tower. Insane. Anyway, so he's going to try and pull that Pekka across. I know what he was trying to do there is get that Pekka over to the left-hand lane, but it didn't work out that way. In comes a really good value fireball. He gets heaps of value out of that. He's got heaps of troops coming in, all underneath the rage as well. So I'm going to throw down a rocket. Hit almost everything. I really wanted it to hit that Electro Wizard at the back, but never mind. I'm going to distract here with the Ice Golem. Another... Ice Golem's going so good. They're going to take down this right-hand tower with that big push. That was a lot of troops, though. So we're going to throw the rocket out there by him. We've only got 22 seconds left. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure how we're going to do in this one. I can't really remember, to be honest, but it's not looking good with 16 seconds to go. Uh, so I'm thinking about my last push here. He's got the zap. Oh, he just zapped for no reason at all there. I don't know what that was. I'm going to throw the Hog Rider in. I don't think I get two hits off with it. No, I don't. That sucks. If he had, if he had waited for that zap then, we actually could probably could have taken that tower down. But never mind. So we lose that one as well. Again, you can see, take a deep breath, work well with your partner. Don't just use spells because you're getting annoyed. Whoops, I just hit the microphone then, sorry. Because uh, you're getting annoyed or it's not going how you thought. So I'm going to skip past that. We found another uh, uh, 
another person to play with here. So Smash Lot, he's another good player in our clan. Uh, and we work quite well together as well. So I indicate to him that I'm going to throw down my Hog Rider. He uh, throws down his Witch. I accidentally pushed the Witch forward, which is kind of bad, but anyway, it happens. Uh, the Hog Rider luckily does not activate the King Tower there. That was incredibly lucky. So, so lucky. I throw down the Poison. Get a bit of value out of it. Not too bad. I'm happy with it anyway. Uh, he's coming with a big push. Golem uh, with a Barbarian Ram. He's got the Poison as well, which is going to hit everything that hit literally everything that i had thankfully the golem isn't on the tower but he is still doing huge huge damage amazing amounts of damage so i'm gonna go on a bit of a counter offensive here i want to push forward with that hog rider but unfortunately i can't he's got the inferno tower down so you can see how they got good this is a good deck that the these guys from argentina top are running it's got i think we're just going to tank the damage here from the dark goblin which is never advisable uh thankfully uh, thankfully, we can take out that miner. Doesn't get too much damage down. Um, yeah, you can see how Argentina top, these two guys have got good deck. It's got spells in it, and it's got defenses in it. Um, that's really what you need. So, we're going to throw down a preemptive poison here. We've got the Hog Rider as well as the Elite Barbs. That uh, whirlwind there, or that Cyclone, I can't even remember what it's called. It was really poorly placed. Not, not a good one to pull us into the middle there. So that's a bit of a mistake by their part. Now they're going to come through with a big push. We've got the Execution. We've got the Wizard to Defend. We've got the Witch. Nope, he's going to switch over to the Witch as well. Here comes a big Rocket. Going to get tons of value with that Rocket. You can see what I mean. They've got spells in their deck. They've got good defenses in their deck. So they've got a really good deck. We're not out of this one yet, though. Their right-hand tower is down. It's at 80, so... Really no need to defend this right-hand side there. Playing that Wizard on the right-hand side was a complete waste. There was no need to play that at all. We didn't need to defend it. Um... He's going to play his Hoggy, so I'm going to play um, that Ice Golem on the left. Get this Rocket down, which will at least take out that Knight. Does it hit the Knight? Yes, so it hits the Knight. That's not too bad. They're going to play defensively with that Whirlwind. Uh, don't know about that one. So I'm going to play the Poison as well. It's a bit late, but thankfully the uh, thankfully it get, the, all the troops there get held up in that Poison. Uh, he plays down a Minor, trying to chip away. He also plays down the Poison, which is a good indication that we can start playing our Minion Horde. And he misses with that Fireball. That Fireball there was a bit of a mistake. So we're going to keep on cycling through, trying to make a push on this left-hand lane. Obviously, the Hog Rider goes down on the right. Um, that was no problems. That Executioner is really well placed on this left-hand lane here. It's actually hitting quite a lot of stuff. Uh, these boys from Argentina top just played a Miner down there. They really didn't need to defend that hard. You can tell they're starting to panic a little bit. They're worried about the push that we're starting to deal, even though we don't really have such a good push. I'm going to play a Poison here and try and get some really good uh, value out of it. He's going to play the Barbs in the middle, and he's also going to play the Miner on the left-hand side with a Poison, but it's not going to do anything. That's just a waste, that attack. We've got the Minion Horde now because he just played the um, Poison. He's got the Fireball, but they weren't... Whoa, he almost missed that Fireball, I tell you what. So we've got the Rocket uh, plus the Hog Rider combo. Let's see what he plays down. He plays down the Inferno Tower, but it's not going to matter because we're just going to play the Double Rocket. And as you can see, two spells right there at the end. That's all you need to do. You have to have spells in your deck. There's no other way about it. Have lots of spells in your deck. Have a good defense in your deck. Uh, and you'll find that you'll be okay in these clan, these friendly clan battles. Now, I'm pretty sure I, I sit here for a little bit and I, unfortunately I don't get any more matches. So I will leave this video here. A little bit of a short one. But I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still definitely playing uh, Clash of Clans. Uh, and definitely still recording it all. Um, I'm just uh, not uploading as many videos as I should be. Uh, and I, I certainly will change that. I'll certainly be putting up some more Clash of Clans. Oh, Clash of Clans, well. I'm playing that too, by the way. <laughs> Clash Royale videos. I'll throw them up as well. But hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. You enjoyed watching me play with some of my clan mates. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like the video. If you like the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Huge thanks to uh, subscribers recently. I'm starting to get up there and subscribe, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So thank you very much for that, guys. And as always, we'll see you all in the next one.